Hey y'all, this here is Trucker Steve from Florida, currently in North Carolina. You're watching Trucker Josh Vlogs. Good morning everybody, we're on Highway 2 in Manitoba at the Saskatchewan border. We gotta get this steel into Weyburn, Saskatchewan and a small piece of it into Regina, Saskatchewan today yet and then get back down to Weyburn, Saskatchewan for a reload that's going to Toronto. It's a bit of a busy running around kind of day but we got plenty of time to do it. The daylight hours are short but the days are the same length, thank goodness. So let's get our work done, let's get out there. It's slightly colder up here. Oh, look at this, we're spinning. Okay. Oh. I'll show you who's boss. Okay, we're spinning. Let's lock up the diffs here, Diesel. Lock them up. I got tools for this. Okay, we're still spinning. Okay. Let's not been too much. There we go. There we go. Come on, give her, 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 give her. There we go. Do you know who I am, Mother Nature? I think you can stop me with a little bit of ice. So yeah, uh, we're gonna bring this to Weyburn. I was saying it's a little colder up here. Than it was in Jackson, Tennessee, where I picked this steel up. But we're just barely over the border into Canada. We're above Western North Dakota or Central North Dakota right now. On the Canadian side, we're in this small little town. Uh, what's this town called? Reston. It's in southwest Manitoba. Now I'm from the southeast, southeast Manitoba. I didn't even know that these towns existed out here. No offense to you guys out here. I don't know the southwest corner of my province that well, apparently. What a nice little town. Very clean, well kept. Didn't have time to go for a walk and explore it, but uh, maybe next time. Very nice little town. You know, if I was from Reston, I would be proud. Now the roads look a little slippery here. I wanted to get all the way to Weyburn last night, but it was raining. And then it started to get cold after the sun went down. And as you can tell, all of that rain turned to ice. So it's a little slippery, but uh, I saw the salt truck go by just before I got on the road. I don't know if he salted it or just plowed it. But we'll get there. This isn't our first rodeo. This isn't even bad yet. So that was the very definition of a mud lot. That's how deep the mud was. It looked deeper in person. But yeah, we just both got stuck. We had to lock up the diffs. We got out of there. We got out of there. Didn't even need a tug. So this is what I got left on the trailer. This is going to Regina. This is it. That's it. Those tarps are mine. What's funny and ironic is that my reload is literally right across the street from where I delivered the rest of the stuff. Yeah, because I told you already, right? Because I got to come down here for my, my next freight. But I have to bring this tiny little piece to Regina first. So I was unloading that stuff and I look across the street and I was like, oh, look at that. There's my load right there. Be nice if I could just go there and pick it up. But I can't because I got to go an hour and a half down the road. To Regina, wait a couple of hours, then unload this afternoon, then drive all the way back to Weyburn, wait overnight, and then reload those things up tomorrow morning. Then we can go home. That's all right, whatever, it's trucking, right? It's trucking. They're not gonna pay me if I don't finish delivering everything. 
can't just dump it off in a ditch and say, yeah, it's done. That's why they got bills of lading and stuff to hold us accountable. Because apparently, if they didn't have that, some of us drivers wouldn't actually do our work. You don't say. You couldn't trust people? No. So I've got to go up to Regina, bring them their stuff, get them to sign a fancy paper saying I brought them their stuff, then come back down here. It's the way the world works. What was that? I couldn't hear you. Speak up, lady. What'd you say? You gonna tell me again? You have nine hours and 28 minutes of remaining drive time. Thank you. That should be plenty. All I need is an hour and a half. Well, I guess three hours there and back. Oh, I bought myself a Mars bar for a treat. Woo! Yes, my favorite. Hey, do they not have Mars bars, like chocolate bars, in the U.S.? I couldn't find them. It was sort of like Snickers, but better. I've been waiting until I got back to Canada all week already. Wanted a Mars bar. My daily treat to myself while I'm trying to lose weight. Okay, so we're going to take Highway 39 here, up towards the city. And uh, we have plenty of time. My delivery appointment's at 3 o'clock. I think we're going to arrive there at like 2 o'clock. So maybe they'll get us unloaded early. Who knows? Apparently we're almost here. So, ah, this is where it'll be going, this building project, I'm guessing. Just over the tracks. Now, how do I get in there? I see, I see, this building right here. I got some steel for you, bud. Where do you want me? I'm just gonna park right on our shoulder here, back up in front of that little mini Civic. Or maybe I'll just park here. I wonder where they want me. Yeah, I'm just gonna put on the park anywhere and get away with it, flashers. And go figure out where they want me. We're in Regina, Saskatchewan. So he's lifting it up with that boom truck back there. I don't know if you can see it, it's probably not. I gotta wait in here because as soon as they lift it off the deck, I've gotta roll forward. It's a very little piece, but it's very long and flimsy and easily damaged, so they have to be careful. Just making sure it's not gonna damage it. And then I'll move forward. I wish I could have a camera outside to show you this, but I can't set it up right now, they're in a rush. You just have to trust me. Alright. I get the go ahead. There we go. Move forward, get out of their way. And there we go. Officially unloaded, I just gotta go and get all the dunnage off my trailer, all that wood that they put down so that they can get under it with the forks, even though they didn't need that. And uh, put all my tools away, go grab some fuel, and head back down to Weyburn. So we can load tomorrow. Whoa, 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 whoa. This is 
Saskatchewan highways. Yeehaw. Make sure you wear your seatbelt coming through here. You're gonna fly right out the window. So we are going down highway, what is this? Highway 33 right now. We're gonna meet up with highway 35. That's gonna take us straight south down to Weyburn. Uh, we took the 39 and the six up before. So we're taking a little bit of a different route down. I thought that maybe there'd be less traffic because it's not as big of a road. Eh, still traffic, but we're moving along pretty good here. Doing the speed limit at least. Got an empty flatbed behind me there. And uh, yeah, we're hurrying on down to Weyburn to uh, sit and wait till tomorrow morning. I gotta load these. I think they're giant spools that are going to Toronto. I got two drops there, one in Fergus, one in Brampton. And uh, they say that they want their freight clean. And they got a special note on their, uh, <laughs> a special note on the, the load offer or whatever you want to call it. That says, if freight is dirty, wash freight before delivering to consignee. Like, like what? Who washes their freight? Hot in the Alice in Chains. I'm not gonna go and wash my freight. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to tarp my freight. <laughs> I don't know why they said that. If you don't want your freight dirty, just tell me to tarp it. I'll tarp it, it it'll stay clean. Why would you tell me to go wash your freight? What am I gonna go and find a truck wash and say, hey, can you can you wash the freight? Would you like the truck wash, sir? No, just the freight. I mean, <laughs> I'll just put a tarp on it. So I called in to the office and said, uh, they want their freight clean, eh? Like, yeah, you're gonna have to wash it. I'm like, uh, no, it's winter time. All the salt and grime on the roads out here. I'm just gonna tarp it. There you go. Not just a trucker, I'm also a genius. So I'm not too sure how far down this road. Well, actually, I'm exactly sure, because Karen's showing me right here. 41 kilometers. Not too sure where I'm going. Come on. 41 kilometers, and we turn right, and we head in towards Weyburn. You know, Mandy would never take me down Highway 33 here for some reason. And for some reason, Karen always wants me to take Highway 33 between Weyburn and Regina. It's, uh, it's a provincial highway. Whereas, uh, well, no, Highway 39 is provincial. It's just like a lower class of highway, I guess. A smaller highway. I don't know why Karen always wants me to go here. I guess she likes to take the, the scenic route. I don't know. 39 is more traveled. This car in front of me here, he has not discovered the gift that God has given us called cruise control. It is a magnificent gift. He gave it to us at Christmas a long time ago. And uh, all of us appreciate it very much, the most of us, and use it regularly. Some people, like this guy in front of me, uh, hate Christmas and throw away all their gifts because they don't want any. So he hasn't discovered that we have this option of cruise control or he just doesn't want it. He's speeding up and slowing down. Speeding up and slowing down. I'm not talking a little bit. I'm talking, he's doing probably, well, he's pulling away from me now, so he's probably doing 105 kilometer an hour or something. He'll slow right down to 70. And then he'll go back up to 105 and back down to 70. And I know I complain a lot in my vlogs, but I was reading the comments on my video about a week ago from you guys, and I'm, I'm glad that the majority of you understand why I do it, why I complain about it. Because I'm just saying out loud what you guys are thinking on a daily basis on the road. See, I think just like you. I get frustrated and annoyed at the exact same things as you. I just voice them on the internet. See? It's what you call relatable. <laughs> oh, this guy's just giving her night, still pulling away from me. Well, I found his accelerator pedal at least. At least he knows where that is. Hopefully he knows where his brakes are. He's gonna stop eventually. You never know. Somebody's getting a spanking. The law in Saskatchewan and Manitoba and Alberta is to slow down to 60 kilometers an hour when you're passing them, unless if you're separated by a median. The law also goes for tow trucks and any other emergency vehicles. Stay safe, people. Well, would you looky here? Weyburn, Saskatchewan. Oh, I'm gonna have to take up this whole road here. I need to turn right. This is a narrow corner. 
They weren't thinking of me in my 70 foot unit when they made this corner. All right, let's not drag our trailer over this friendly pedestrian. He's walking. He's even got a little blinky light on his backpack so that we don't run him over. So let's not run him over. There we go. There we go. Like a boss. In 800 meters, turn right on. First Avenue, Highway 13. You don't even know what you're talking about, Karen. We're not going to the shipper now. We're going to the truck stop first. One of the shipper in the morning. I put the coordinates for the, or the address, I guess, for the shipper into the GPS. And Karen thinks we're going straight there. She doesn't realize they're closed right now. We gotta go sleep first. Well, we got some extra time to watch some TV, hang the TV up in the sleeper. I'm uh, still working on my uh, Z Nation. I'm on season four now. Don't spoil it for me. In 200 meters, turn right on. First Avenue, Karen. 13 and then make a U turn if possible. Karen, and I just explained meters. this. We're, I'm not turning here. It's a terrible idea. Man, people like to cut in front of me a lot here. I guess that was okay. That was okay. All right, I forgive you. But yeah, I'm uh, on season four, and I download uh, like full seasons onto my uh, computer and onto my phone. So uh, whenever I'm parked for the night or parked somewhere waiting like this, I can just watch them, and it doesn't use any of my data because I download them while I'm at home, right? So I'm slowly getting through it. It's actually a really good series. Slide right on Highway 39. Well, you're sort of right there, Karen. We are gonna, no, actually we're gonna go straight over. We're not gonna make a slight right. I can see the co-op from here already where we're gonna park. Continue on this road for 25 kilometers. You have no idea what you're talking about, Karen. I am pulling in right here on the right. We've stayed here many times and uh, looks like my spot is still available. I like that. I always have a spot at every truck stop. Don't take it. It's usually in the back, alone, somewhere where I'm not gonna have any neighbors. It's not because I don't like you guys. You guys are awesome. I just don't want you to park right beside me if you don't have to. Okay, I'm picky. I like to have a quiet night if I can. All right, it's kind of muddy right now. Oh, great. Ah, well. Price I pay for a good spot. Good, quiet spot, just off here on the left, against the grass here. Hopefully I don't get stuck, I gotta turn around. All right, we have about 15 hours, so we have to get up, so watch some TV. Enjoy the night a little bit. Get this out of the way. Watch out, Diesel. Oh boy. Go and lock the door so we don't fall out. Hang up the TV so we can watch some TV. Mount right there. And there we go. We're all set and ready. What are you guys doing tonight? I'll show you what we're doing tonight. Uh huh. We're watching some TV. So yeah, thanks for watching, we'll see you tomorrow.